Why is it that it couldn't have happened by chance? Well, you can never say never for sure, okay? You can't okay. say something couldn't for sure, but you can say that it would be vastly more improbable than not that life did uh, arose by chance. So improbable, in fact, that people would dismiss it as being not a credible hypothesis. And right? I think the folks, when they hear what you're going to say, are yeah, going to Yeah, let, let me explain why. Here, here's an illustration I used to use with my students. I've got a little bag here of, of Scrabble letters. So I asked my students to test the hypothesis that chance is an effective way of building new information, of generating new information. What I'd have them do is I'd have them walk up to, or I'd walk into, out into the aisles, have them pick out letters at random, and then take those letters and go and write whatever letter they chose on the blackboard and have them do it in the sequence that they, picked uh, out of the bag. in which they chose the letters. And invariably what would turn up on the blackboard would be some gibberish like uh, Z, S, U, A, E, T, you know, you know wh whatever, and uh, obviously uh, improbable arrangement of characters, but not specified to perform a function, not meaningful, okay? And that's the problem with chance. It generates unspecified arrangements, but not specified arrangements. Yeah, you got gibberish versus time and tide wait for no man. Exactly, and you, chance does a great job of giving you the gibberish, but it will not, it, it, it does not produce information. Now occasionally, we'd have an, a, a situation in which we'd get a student, you know, maybe the first three students would come up with something like, like bin or, uh, uh, you know, um, or something that was at least word-like, and the students would often start to kind of do cat calls and, and say, ah, see, we got you, we're gonna, we're, gonna, we're gonna produce a lot of information by chance, but I would always win the point, win the argument, by allowing the experiment to keep going. And eventually, the gibberish would completely swamp the, the meaningful, any, any hint of meaning that was in, in yeah, the If you had 150 sequence. letters going down the line, the fact is you would, you'd have gibberish. Yeah, absolutely. And th there's a reason for that, and I, I've got a little, a little demonstration um, on, on that point as well. It's called the problem of combinatorials. And th this is what people don't realize. For, before we get to the slide, I have a yep. visual aid. Okay, it's a little dinosaur puzzle, and it, it's got four dials. On each dial, there are six possibilities, uh, one for each of six dinosaurs. And you've got a dial for the head, the torso, the tail, and the label of each dinosaur. And the idea here in the puzzle is you're trying to turn it to get the, the Tyrannosaurus Rex head, body, tail, and label all to line up. Now, what are the odds? of doing that w by just turning the dials at random. That's the problem of combinatorials. There's lots of different combinations, so the odds are actually very small. You've got a one in six chance of getting the correct head, now you want, and then a one in six chance of getting the correct body, tail, and, and label. And you might want to say that odds are six plus six plus six plus six, but that's not how it works, because you have to take into account, account all the different combinations that can be formed. If I've got a head on one label, one in six possibility here, but on the second dial for the torso, I've also got a one in six possibility. So it's, there's actually six times six possibilities. And then when you get to the third dial, you get another times six, and the fourth dial, another times six. It ends up that you actually have 1,296 possible combinations, so the odds of getting the correct one are only one in 1,296. Now, if I say, give you 10 seconds, and you get to turn the dial three times, is it more likely or less likely than not that you will stumble onto the correct combination? Well, it's obviously less likely right. than not, um, and it's not impossible, but it's far more likely that you won't solve the problem by chance than you will solve the problem by chance. This has been an ATRI production.